going on, Boobers? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just Mario Show. And I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And today, we're going to talk about the Republican Convention. It aired everywhere. Fox, NBC, CNBC, CNN. And if you weren't in the place, you missed it, okay? Now, don't think that I'm just one-sided here because I am a Libra. Let me just say this. Open Oh, let me just say my little Easter speech real quick. I'm a Libra, so I'm going to give it to both sides the way they like it. So right now, this just happens to be the Republican convention that was aired. When the Democratic convention airs, I'm going to assess the situation and give it to you the way you like it. Okay, so go on and sit down on it before I get all these emails about this book. Okay, now, the way I think about it, it's like Romney is like, okay, so the way I think about this is kind of like if you say the prime minister's name wrong while you're in, you know, in his territory, his land, and you're shaking hands with the prime minister and you say his name wrong, that's bad. When you mispronounce the country that you want to lead, that's real bad. I'm just down on it. Well, he didn't mispronounce it. He misspelled it. Okay, cat, K A T. Don't want to sit down on it. Okay. Now, Paul Ryan is the vice president candidate. And he's charming. He's handsome. He's new. He's fresh. He's young. He's vibrant. He can climb buildings. He swings. He flies. He swims. And he has a puppy. We, we love him. We love him. But I do think he's repetitive. I think that he's redundant. And everything that he says, it's like when you get lost, you keep... Taking the same way. Now, eventually, we're going to have to turn the car left. Okay, let's try something different. So, I just think that he was being redundant. And um, when he kept ta talking about the Obama administration, he just kept talking about the housing market and, of course, the economy and things like that. And the way I feel about the economy is, let's do it in pounds. Like, let's say our economy is pounds. So if you took eight years to gain 900 pounds, you can't lose 400 pounds in four years. You just, you can't. You have to, it, it's a process. It wouldn't be healthy if you did it. Okay? If our economy was just running smooth and everybody had a car and everybody had a Bentley, it would be horrible. Remember back in the days when you step on people's tennis shoes and they would cut you because everything was going smooth. I had a knife to cut you. Now you can't even afford a knife to cut nobody. It's so sad. It is sad. The homeless people got debits now because um, I was like, I ain't got no change. That's okay. I got a debit. You want to swipe? What are they doing at that? It's so sad. It really is sad. And this is the thing. Like I said, you, the Obama administration inherited a haunted house. It's kind of like if your favorite auntie, she your favorite auntie, so you, you can't turn the house down, but she leaves you this house in the will, and you can't sell it, so you have to pay taxes on it and things like that. And it has three big holes in the roof, and crow, one crow just sits in one of the holes, and it just rains in there. It just rains. There's snakes, spiders, bears, oh my. And... She could give you this house, but you want to try and fix it up. And any business person know you can't just spend all the money and fix it up. I don't care if you're a millionaire. You didn't become a millionaire by thinking unwisely about your money decisions. So it would take time to do the roof. It would take time to send that. So it's going to take time to get the economy. And I don't feel that we have totally nosedive. I mean, I know it, it's horrible right now, but look what was given to you, a haunted house. So don't expect to have a cotillion in two weeks in this house that your dead auntie left you in the wheel. Now we got to get a red cotillion ready. No, ma'am. It don't work like that. Nothing works like that. You can run your business like that. It's the truth. If you had a business and, it, and, and the Obama, Obama administration came to manage it for you and it was trillions of dollars in, in a hole. So we, we're, never get, we're not going to get out of that in four years. Like, put two and two together. It's so sad. No, it's sad. And this is the first time that I feel that it's just like a tension 
with the Democrats and the Republicans listening to the speeches, it's just like attention. It's kind of like when you first have a puppy and he nip at you when he's playing, but he's a German shepherd and you reach for his food and he'd be like, and you know not to play with him. It's one of those kind of tensions that I feel. And I feel that we are one nation under God. That's what I've been taught. And that's what I know and love. And I love our country and the United States of America and everything. And we are always supposed to stick together and stick behind our country. Isn't that what we just said about uh, seven, eight years ago? No matter what the decisions were made, we, we stick by our country and so seven or eight years ago we got put in the hole and we then our auntie moved on and now we have somebody else that has inherited the house why they got to take care of their own house hold so don't you like sasha don't you like malia i like them them good girls honey you ain't never heard nothing about sasha malia not even fast and off baby it's true now i will tell you one thing that i really think goes on about sasha malia i think that when michelle and president obama's gone i really think they took up the white house like jumping up and down on the couch they be like yay and then grandma be like they're home fix it Okay, when grandma said, because grandma let them run all over, she like, let them kids be kids. But when mom, because mother does not play that. Oh, Michelle doesn't play that. You better have two books in your hand. Not one, two. One better be in French, and one better be in English. That's right. That's right. You better give it to us the way we like it in the Obama house. You seen that eyebrow go up like that. Michelle doesn't play. And she's a real honorable woman. I just love her. She just always looks like she just smells good. Like those lotions and things. She smells just good. You know. But anyway, um, we were all raised to be one nation under God. And individual would do that. Live did. It was for all. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's continue to do that because I think that we could change not only our country, I feel that we can change the world and we can be trendsetters if we just all stick together in America and not fight and just kill each other and just everything. We just need a whole different mindset. And, and, and I know that people are like, oh my goodness, we just too far gone. Now we, we got reality shows and other. And, can we bring something back where you study a script, like Friends, something like that? It'd be nice, where the folks study a script. Oh, but they do have single ladies now. They have single ladies, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about Beyonce. So, I'm talking about single ladies. I'm um, All right, well listen, we're gonna dance up out of here the same way that we always do it. I know you're like, Mario, no you didn't do a recap on um, Republican convention and not say you think you can dance, go on and sit down on it. We have to be well-rounded around here. Like I said, when the Democratic convention come, I'm gonna give it to you the way you like it too. So y'all better watch out for what you say too. Hello. All right, I'll see you guys next time on It's Just Mario. I love you, Boo Bears. Peace. <laughs>